Since past couple of years, notch displays are one of the main things smartphone manufacturers are implementing in their smartphones. Some love the notch and some hate it. Well, if you are confused about notch displays and why they are in smartphones, here is a quick explanation video about notch displays. Notch displays are smartphone screens that have an unusual design because of a cutout on one of the device edges, rather than a conventional rectangular screen. Though each notch serves a different purpose, display cuts are often used to house sensors, speakers and front-facing camera modules. Although Apple's iPhone X popularized the notch display, but Essential's PH1 smartphone was the first major handset to include the notch. The Essential PH1 was announced in May 2017 and launched to mixed reviews in August of 2017. The iPhone X, which had a somewhat larger notch design, wasn't publicly introduced until September. Despite this, many people credit Apple for popularizing notch displays. The big improvement in iPhone X's screen to body ratio is because of the removal of home button and the addition of notch. The biggest reason why Apple implemented notch is because of their radical advancement in facial recognition technology. This notch allowed the iPhone to occupy the screen space from top to bottom while still keeping the face ID. While most people don't know that Apple wasn't the first smartphone to feature the notch. Essential Phone PH1 was the first smartphone to have a notch. The notch on this smartphone was different from what we see now. Instead of a large cutout, Essential Phone featured the small cutout at the top and featured the selfie camera. The bottom bezel was still large and this allowed this smartphone to maintain 85% screen-to-body ratio. It was more than the iPhone X's 82% screen-to-body ratio. After the release of iPhone X, nearly every smartphone manufacturer adopted this style. Notches soon became the part of modern and stylish smartphones. The flagship device is released by biggest manufacturers like Huawei, Xiaomi, Oppo and Google all had some kind of notch displays. While the Samsung was the only smartphone company who didn't adopt this style for their Note 9 and S9 series smartphones. Not all the notch was of same design. To be different from Apple's large rectangular notch, companies found different way of implementing notch in their smartphones. The OnePlus 60 had a teardrop-shaped notch that sloped seamlessly beneath its single front-facing camera. The Huawei Mate 20 Pro had a shorter and longer notch that held plenty of sensors. The notch on the Google Pixel 3 was a huge curved box. These devices also offered the option to disable the notch altogether, leaving only the clock and notifications visible in the top bar. This design idea swiftly spread to the budget and mid-range markets, following software versions of Android added native support for notches. Popular phones with average specs such as Xiaomi's Pocophone F1 and the Nokia 7 also have notches. Though it wasn't the first notched smartphone display to reach the market, the wedge-like notch featured on the iPhone X and Apple handsets was the first to enter the public attention. It is by far the most well-known kind of notch display. When most people think of a smartphone notch, they think of this exact type of the concept. Beyond the most current iPhones, the wedge notch can also be found in the area of Android smartphones, such as LG's G7 ThinQ and Huawei's P20 Pro. To compete the iPhone X hardware and notch style, many Android smartphone manufacturers thought to further improve the screen-to-body ratio by cutting things further and they end up getting the same teardrop style notch like the Essential phone. The advantage of teardrop notches compared to the wedge notch is that you are getting a more screen space. Choosing a teardrop display on the other hand might occasionally result in limitations on the front-facing camera. For example, Huawei's Mate 20 has a design but lacks the 3D face unlock seen in the Mate 20 Pro. Samsung became the first company to implement this type of notch. This notch is placed on the corner of the device. This type of notch display is mostly for foldable smartphones. This notch also features dual and single camera system. There are some manufacturers who put not just one but two notches in their smartphones. There are very little amount of manufacturers who opted for double notch. This is because no one likes this type of display. There was a Sharps Echoes R Compact which used double notch display having one notch on the lower side featuring haptic fingerprint sensor. Big companies like Samsung and Apple never opted for this kind of notch. And well, I personally hate this double notch display. 
Since 2019, smartphone manufacturers appear to have landed on a new type of notch display, known as the hole punch display, circular cutout display or hole display. Regrettably, some manufacturers call this design the dodge. This notch, like all the notches, introduced new issues for software developers. However, if a device screen-to-body ratio is important, companies are likely to consider such issues as acceptable to tackle. After all, it was the urge to strive for smaller devices with larger screens that led to today's environment of notch displays. This takes us to the topic of Samsung. They have already said that the Galaxy series will never feature a notch. They choose an Infinity O display for their 2019 flagship, the Galaxy S10 to eliminate bezels. Critics frequently refer to this as a hole punch, it's something that may appear on a future iPhone. To fit the front-facing camera, they have carefully carved away a part of their AMOLED screen. This entails a circular or pill-shaped hole on the top right corner of your phone. The Galaxy S10 has a screen-to-body ratio of roughly 89% with this design. It remains to be seen whether or not this implementation is successful. Manufacturers are exploring the possibility of placing the camera beneath the screen because Samsung, Huawei and OnePlus all have fingerprint sensors directly on the screen. There are ways to completely conceal physical components behind the display. Samsung revealed the under-display camera on Galaxy Fold 3. Fold 3 is one of my favorite smartphones when it comes to something unique. Which type of notch you prefer? Tell me in the comment section below. And that's all for now. Thanks a lot for watching guys. You're watching Tech Builder. I'm your host Hamza Mukhtar. I'll be back soon with a new video. Till then, take care and peace.